Now let us see the qualifications which are required to be a judge of a Supreme Court. He has to be a citizen of India, which is very much necessary for all the key posts. He has to, he has been for at least five years a judge of a high court or two or more such other courts in succession and has been for at least 10 years as an advocate of a high court or of two or more such courts in succession. He has to be a distinguished jurist in the eyes of the president or a distinguished jurist in the opinion of the president. So an expected question for qualification, the two points which are very, very important are he has been for at least five years a judge of the high court or more in succession or he has to be uh, at least 10 years. There is an or over there. It can be second or the third one and he has to be a distinguished jurist in the opinion of the president. So don't forget this is a very important point at least five years as a judge or at least 10 years an advocate of the high court. So there is an or over there. So any one of the things you can write but has to be a citizen of India and a distinguished jurist in the opinion of the president. How is the judge of a Supreme Court appointed? Every judge of a Supreme Court is appointed by the President of India in consultation with the other judges of the Supreme Court and the High Court with the advice from the Council of Ministers. The Chief Justice of India can also advise on the selection of the judges of the Supreme Court. Advice from the other judges generally mean agreement. The senior most judge of the Supreme Court is usually chosen as the Chief Justice of India. So who is chosen as the Chief Justice of India? The senior most judge of the Supreme Court is usually chosen as the Chief Justice of India. So you need to learn this very well. So how are the judges of the Supreme Court appointed? So every judge of a Supreme Court is appointed by the President of India in consultation. So this is a key word in consultation with the other judges of the Supreme Court and the High Court and with the advice from the Council of Ministers. Now these particular Council of Ministers just play a small role over there in appointment to elect. Now the, what is the meaning of advice from the judges? It means an agreement from the judges. So, in case of a Chief Justice is not able to carry out duties of his office due to the absence or other reasons, an Acting Chief Justice is appointed by the President. The Acting Chief Justice is selected from the other judges of the Supreme Court. Now, I am sure you would have understood this appointment of the judges. So, the word, key word over there is President. He appoints in consultation with the other judges of the Supreme Court and the High Court. He can take the advice of the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court in order to appoint a judge too. But the senior most judge is chosen as the Chief Justice of India.